Hello there, everyone. Shadobin here. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Oops. So as you can see, we're back on our save file. The Vanished Princess is what we're working on. We just freed, just rescued Marley. Let's get into it without any further ado. So, rescue the princess. All that's left to do is to leave, really. Get back to our time period. At least I assume that's what our goal is going to be. Get back to our time period. Oh, you sweet summer children. This is about to be just a massacre. Yep, that went about as badly for bad guys as I imagined it. And let's do the same. Might as well earn some extra TP while I'm here. Oh, wow. I just go fast enough to hit me. Oh, that's right. Marley's not been in the party, so she's actually going to be... Yep. That's what I was just about to say. She's not been in the party, so she actually is underpowered. Yeah, so we do need to do a couple fights with her. Get her some levels. Yeah, she's not even one-shot an enemy. It's not good, Marley. You need to be more powerful than this. Still love these little enemies riding these things. It cracks me up to no end. Yeah, was, of course, that was a crit. No reason she did that much. What is her level? No, she's the same level as us. Uh, gear? Anything missing? Got an accuracy plus two item. Accuracy makes her damage. She's using the ranged weapon. Now she's about as good as she could be. Need to get a better weapon. Just kick a rock at me? Oh, friend. Yeah, you, you get what you deserve, buddy. I'm sorry. Kick a rock at me? I think that's all the enemies. Yeah, nothing else is coming to mind. I'd take that back. I didn't realize this encounter was even here. Out of here, bird brain. Oh, these things are weak enough that base attacks take them out. Yep, there we go. Problem solved. 9 XP. More importantly, 96 gold. 8,000, so that should be enough to well, equip ourselves. Uh, I mean, there shouldn't be any reason to come back to the monastery, but I'm kind of. I don't want to double check it. Are the enemies even still here? Yeah, I didn't think they would be. Uh, for the chances that Frog is here doing, doing something. Now that's the only thing I kind of I'm slightly curious about. I did say he was leaving. I'm probably wasting precious video time here, but... Now, if he's up here praying for forgiveness or something... He's not. Okay, I just wasted precious video time. Sorry, folks. But while we're walking back, now's as good a time as any to remind you... That hello there, I'm Shadovin. If you like the game, the content, the channel, please consider giving me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell all that good stuff. Thank you so much. It really helps out. I really get it. Running back to the beginning of the dungeon because I'm really at wasting time. I'm really bad at the video game.
All right, and we're out. Start hitting up these places. Save a mind to buy some weapon. Okay, that's the same thing you already told me. And no new weapons, no armor. Okay. Talk to everybody. A millennial fair. Uh, okay, so you got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah, nothing. Also nothing. Seems she was spouting nonsensical, nonsensical things like a woman possessed when they found her. I don't know what happened, but a trauma must have taken its toll. I don't remember that line of dialogue. Alright. It doesn't seem like really anyone's got anything new to say. I guess in theory we need to go back where we were. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense to me. Luca came through after us, so that must mean that there's an intact way back home. I mean, otherwise, how did Luca get here, you know? Bye! Oh, it lived! What was that attack? Oh, these enemies are a little nastier. Bean Dillo. Oh, this thing's tough. There it goes. Okay. New enemy, it's got a little got a little fight left in him. So how do we get home? Well, Your Highness, we... Please call me Marley. Well then, Marley, observe. Whoa! Luca, you're amazing! <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already! I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible! I'd trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. But gates are unstable. That's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright. Tell me, Chrono? Ah, I need to turn off the, uh... Steam overlay. Oh my god, this guy keeps popping up that... Whew, we made it! Rona, Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marley. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months, and I made new friends, too. Rona, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Luca. Well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home? I am. First, though, I'm ready to try and turn off the steam overlay. Oh. Okay. That should have turned it off. Stream's still good. Everything's responsive. Or stream. Video, rather. Oh. 
I maybe shouldn't have done that. Oh, I guess it's fine. I like that sound effect. Alright. Back home. Can't do anything with that now. Bear back in full swing. It is. Oh, and I never did the Mimic. I never finished the Mimic uh, horror game. Uh, got any new gossip? Ugh, keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, nope. Same gossip. The merchants who in the square have all left to restock. Why not pay a visit to the town market? Okay, well, that's new. Uh, this is the Silver Point vendor, which I ain't worried about. This is the guy in his lunch. Alright, so far it's not looking like anything, much of anything is different. There's the girl with the kitty. Oh, I gotta do this again. Chuck, 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 Chuck. Shots, shots, shot, 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 shot. All right. I don't feel like going and doing the dancing. Nope. This is the guy I wanted to buy the silver blade from. No, I'm not letting you buy her pendant. I heard the princess snuck out of the castle again. Well, that's new. Now uh, that's... No! There we go. Now oh, we're cooking. Uh, I'm having a great time with you, Chrono. Oh. All right, get out of here, skadoodle. There's once a great cathedral in the western woods, so here. I wonder what became of it. Oh yeah, I wonder if I can go check it out now. Oh, gotta talk to the kitties. Hello, Chrono. I I see you, buddy. I see you. Grams of cat food. Zero. How do we feed the cats? I assume feeding the cats is important since it's given me the option to feed cats. Bitch? Plant? I'm sorry, I don't have cat food. I don't know how to feed you. Sorry. Been to the fair yet? Sure have. Alright, so nothing. Y'all don't really get anything new. Okay, nothing really has anything new here. In Mayor's Manor. I don't. I just don't feel like trying to go through and talk to the people there. To be honest, it's too many NPCs to be. And it's never too old to collect silver points. Something tells me I'm as happy as I'll ever be. Lane must be down at the pier again. That Fritz. Where could he be? Hello there. What can I do for you? Not here. Iron bow guns an improvement. Maiden suit's an improvement. That's a big improvement. Let's go ahead and pick up one of them. Let's pick up a maiden suit for her. And I think I'm pretty good on all my other stuff. I was hoping he would sell cat food. There we go. 
Uh, what else we got? Go down to Luke's house. Didn't she want us to come see her? Hmm. Reducing the form factor of a bipedal robot without compromising balance is tougher than I thought. Oh, Chrono. Are you going to escort the princess back to the castle? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, I gotta snoop through everybody's stuff first. Luke and Tabor are always off tinkering on their latest inventions. I bought you this apple for what we earned today. Oh, you're so thoughtful. That's it? Talk to Taven. Oh, Lucas friends. That's all he's got. Oh, Lucas friends. We are indeed the friends. Friends of Luca. Luca the friends. Okay, so we can't go that way now. Uh, yeah, anything to do with the bridge? Yeah, same old, same old, same old. No new people that I can see. All right, well, let's head on down to poor then. I know people are screaming in the, it's probably screaming in the comment section and watching this in the future. Ah, uh, doesn't he just go do what he needs to do? We're running around looking at stuff. I can't help it, guys. I can't. These gentlemen, that's what these games are for, is running around. Oh, that's right. This is the jerky dude. Alright. Yeah, I don't think poor has got anything. The only item we wanted to buy really was the silver sword. I think we're as good as we can be. Let's head to the castle. Oh, you know you all getting it. Oh, yeah. She's doing a lot more damage now. Four points. Ha! I can do this all day. Not much in the way of gold, but every little bit I earn puts me one step closer. Something. Oh, yeah, the bug things. The scarabs. How about these enemies? Headshot. 360 no scope. All right, get out of here, bird brain. I just go by y'all. Oh, I can't. Princess Nadia. Are you all right? Where on earth have you been? I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. Um, you back there. You're the one, are you? Thought uh, you'd kidnap the princess? No, Chrono only... Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown. No, no, you mustn't! I don't know. Listen, they're all well within cyclone distance. Stop this right now! What are you fools doing? But Her Highness the Princess said... It doesn't matter what she said! Seize him! Chrono! Oh, they just docked me right out. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Ah, your Chancellor shall serve as prosecutor. Oh, this is a trial. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. This is some bullshit. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler or hang upside down? Or shall we employ the guillotine? Now, these people are bloodthirsty. The choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. Judge, 
shall first hear the testimony of the defense. There. Rana was charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? I was. I mean, I ran into her. Indeed, the defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Oof. Ouch. Having subdued the princess, the defendant coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. That is not criminal abduction. I don't know what is. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Cronwell's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Oh, it's the little kitty girl. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Ooh, looks like they're buying it. The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Read. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Chrono? Nope. Oh. Are you sure? You weren't in the least bit tempted. Not at all. Very well. No more questions, Your Honor. I believe it's been made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. Leave the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent, to the right. Not guilty. Guilty. Oh, I did something wrong then. Oh, well. Not guilty. Yeah, I remember reading about this trial that there's like... Not guilty. That for every event you didn't, did or didn't do correctly, that you get a... Not guilty or guilty. Not guilty! He was probably saying I initiated contact. Not guilty. Not guilty. Aha! Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided in her flight from the castle. I sentence the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Well, that ain't fair. Take him away! This is some bullshit. Stop! Princess Nadia! That's quite enough, young lady. But father... All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even the royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here! Chrono! And I got screwed. I'll trust the Chancellor. Ch past Chancellor was a bad guy. I bet this one's a bad guy too. This man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. To what? He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. His execution is three days hence. See that he's still here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? It, never, sir. Guards! Take 
Take the prisoner away! I got screwed! Right. What have we got here? The trial. Okay, we can heal. Sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Okay, three. Oh, that's right. The more days remaining to execution, two. That's right, the better you do in the trial, the more ethers you get. Pipe down, you! Okay, so I guess we just gotta wait out. <laughs> yeah! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Uh, let's go ahead and do a save a little closer to the trial date in case something goes wrong. Plus, we're also getting awfully close to the end of this video. It might be best to go ahead and wrap this one up and start a new video. Ah, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, finally, the execution day has arrived. Come to escort you to the execution block. Come along. This is still some bullshit. Leave me alone, prisoners. Can't you see I'm going to be murdered? Oh, what an asshole. Laughing at. This ain't right! Oh, I got a couple different choices of tools there. Your sentence will be dispensed by guillotine. Have any last words? Ouch. Beluga! Frodo, I came to rescue you! What? Sorry, but you're sort of in the way. Lights out, boys! So what do you think of my disposable Zonker 38? Pretty cool, huh? Well, we better not stick around too long. Let's go! Heck yeah! Bronze armor. He is unconscious. He is unconscious. He is unconscious. Alright. That's where we're going to end this video. And then the next time, we're going to kick off this jailbreak. Hell yeah. So folks, again, if you like the game, the content, the channel, please consider giving me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, or ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. Most importantly, stay tuned for the next episode of Chrono Trigger. I love you. Thank you so much for watching me. Wherever you're at, I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, evening, or night. 